so much for sitting down with us. Uh, hey, my pleasure. Barbecue is big in the Kansas City yeah, area, as you already know. It wasn't hard to get me here when you told me I'd uh, get to eat barbecue today. So, <laughs> so we have a little late lunch. Uh, kind of just talk about uh, you jumping into this race. You kind of uh, caught a lot of people's attention when you ran against Senator Pat Roberts and got a good bit of the vote. Uh, talk about why you think you're the best voice uh to be the next governor. Yes. Well, you know, I, I think I have a vision that can turn the state around. And I, you know, if you look at the last two decades in Kansas, you know, we've had two decades of decline. And I think Kansans intuitively know something's gone wrong. Uh, and we really need new ideas and a new direction if we're going to make Kansas a place where, you know, all our kids and grandchildren feel inspired to build their lives. And so that's, that's what this race is about for me. This sit down is kind of to, to get to know the candidate and, you know, we, we'll, we'll get you to your talking points in a second, but I was doing a little research. Okay. You're a black belt. Yeah, I do. I do have a black belt in karate. I got that about 15 that's, years that's ago. That's something that everyone just carries around. No, no, I, you know, I, I don't wear it around if that's what you're asking. But, uh, you know, I did that. I started doing that as a kid. You know, I grew up in a single parent family with six kids and my older brother, Mike, was always well, he was a year older than me. He was always 30 or 40 pounds heavier than me and about six inches taller. So I started doing it really uh, as a way to survive, uh, you know, daily interaction <laughs> with my brother, Mike. But uh, yeah. Really? yeah. And, and I also saw that you're big, a big runner, marathon runner. Yeah. How many, it, how many have you run? You know, I've run probably over 20 marathons so far. Uh, and 20? It, it, yeah. In fact, it's, uh, it's something that I got passionate about right after college and uh, probably ran a marathon a two or two a year for well over a decade. Really? Uh, and, uh, you know, that's how I met my wife. I met my wife, Sybil, running uh, from the gym. So, uh, you know, I would say, uh, uh, you know, running has not only been good for my health, but good for my life. So. So running a marathon, I guess running for governor is kind of like a marathon where, especially with that primary, it kind of prolonged things. Talk about, you know, I've talked to people and they say Greg Orman is, is going to hurt the Democrat or take votes from Kobach and not, not be a real contender to be an independent uh, gaining a lot of votes. What do you say to someone who says it, that? You know, I, I think we are going to take votes uh, that would have otherwise gone to both Democrats and Republicans running for office. I mean, we're the, I think I'm the only candidate in the race who really has a vision that appeals broadly to Democrats, Republicans, and independents. Uh, and so ultimately, I think we're going to take a lot of votes that would have gone to other candidates if, if I wasn't in the race. Um, I actually believe we're going to win this race. Uh, you know, I think the visions of the candidates couldn't be clear. You know, Secretary Kobach has talked about smaller government, cutting spending, cutting taxes, really starving the government. Senator Kelly has talked about lots of spending proposals uh, and has no way to pay for it except to raise taxes. You know, I'm not interested in big government. I'm not interested in starving the government. I'm interested in better government. And I think that's resonating uh, with people throughout Kansas. We can get better outcomes on the resources we have. We can invest in our priorities without having to raise taxes. Uh, but we need someone in the governor's office like me who has the ability to get better performance out of large organizations and who knows how to grow the Kansas economy uh, so that we can create the jobs and opportunities that keep our kids here in the tax base uh, that allows us to invest in our priorities without raising tax rates. What sets you apart? I mean, you, you talked about, you know, a conservative and you talked about what some people call a liberal. So what sets you apart? What's that thing that you say, this is where I'm clearly different than Chris Gold by Pam Lord? Well, you know, obviously as an independent that sets me apart, but what that really does is it liberates me to serve Kansans in ways that no other governor can. You know, as an independent, I can appoint the best and the brightest people to serve in my administration. I don't have to pick from a, a group of politically loyal Democrats or politically loyal Republicans. I can embrace the best ideas wherever they come from. Uh, you know, so often in politics today, an idea advanced by one side is dead on arrival with the other. I, I don't particularly care who the author of an idea is. I care whether or not it's a good idea. And maybe also more importantly than that, I'm the only candidate in this race who's actually ever successfully managed anything. You know, we think about the governor's job as a policy job, but the reality is it's really a management job. You know, in policy, you've got 165 partners in the legislature, uh, but it re as it relates to running the, the state of Kansas, which is a $17 billion enterprise, 
with 40,000 employees, we really need someone in that office who actually knows how to manage things, who knows how to get better results on limited resources. And I've spent my life doing that. I've spent my life creating jobs and opportunities for people, many of them right here in Kansas. I've spent my life getting better performance out of organizations. You know, Secretary Kobach has run a couple of small organizations and done so pretty poorly. Uh, Senator Kelly's never run anything. And so I think that really differentiates me. You have two meets there. Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue is important here, yeah. definitely, yeah, like no we mentioned. Uh, uh, there, there are a variety of barbecues. There's a variety of candidates uh, in this race. Tell me something good about one of your opponents. You know, look, I, I, I have to say one of the, the cutest moments in this campaign was at a, at a parade in Gardner, a Johnson County uh, parade. I looked over and I saw my three-year-old daughter Imogen playing with Secretary Kobach's daughters and their dog. Uh, and I thought, you know, how sweet an image this was. And so I think Secretary Kobach is obviously a good father, someone who cares about and, and loves his kids. Uh, you know, I think Senator Kelly has, uh, you know, is a very intelligent person. And I, I, I think, uh, you know, I think they've both got uh, admirable qualities. So uh, as, as this race has gone on, like I said, it's kind of like a, a marathon. What has surprised you the most? Uh, either from campaigning or I know you were recently at a, a K-State football game. Uh, what have you heard from voters that had a, that has shocked you or may, maybe made you say, ah, I didn't know that and you should look at something differently? Well, you know, actually, as I've traveled the state of Kansas, I've been really uh, happy with the feedback we've been getting from people. You know, you always learn things as you go throughout the state. And in fact, I spent a lot of time trying to understand the issues, what was going on in Kansas, because before doing this, I really wanted to have a plan for how we were gonna turn the state around. And so I learned more every time I travel. But I gotta say, I've been really gratified by the response we've been getting. Uh, every time I have an opportunity to talk to an organization, the feedback I get is terrific. And, you know, I think that's just our challenge in this race. We've got to get me in front of more groups, get, get our message out, and make sure Kansans really understand uh, that they don't have to vote against a candidate in this race. And I think so many voters are focused on voting against one candidate or the other. Uh, they can actually vote for someone that uh, they think will improve the state and they can make a positive choice. Well, something that people don't know about Greg Orman, I mean, I already said marathon and you got your wife running. Yeah. Uh, well, black belt. <laughs> well, you know, I've, I've got nine brothers and sisters. And How I, was I, that? I, You're I, number one out of nine. Well, uh, you got to ask, uh, uh, in, you know, by age or emotionally. And, and I, think, uh, <laughs> I think the answer is number two in both instances. <laughs> but my sister Lisa sort of jumps to the top of the list on the emotional age. But no, I'm the second oldest child. I grew up with five brothers and sisters. And then my dad who's had a furniture store here in Stanley, Kansas since 1971, got remarried and had four more kids. And so I've got, uh, you know, I've got nine brothers and sisters. And, you know, there, there actually couldn't be anything better than having a large family. In fact, my brother David came down and spent 10 days at the state fair for us. My sister Michelle has been in town campaigning. I've got three siblings who live in Kansas uh, who've all been very involved in the campaign. So it's just, you know, it's a great... Uh, it's great to have a big family. Probably my last political question is, uh, Chris Kobach has said it more than anyone, uh, so I want to see how you would respond to it, uh, of him calling you a liberal. Do you see yourself as a liberal? Oh, you know, I mean, you know, I've often said Chris doesn't know too many words, and, and so, you know, Chris Kobach would think Ronald Reagan was a liberal. Um, yeah, the reality is I'm fiscally very responsible. Uh, I'm, I, I believe I'm the only candidate in this race who can grow the state of Kansas, who can get better results uh, from the dollars we're spending. And so, you know, uh, Chris can resort to, to name calling, but, but the proof is in the pudding. And I think my, my track record, my background suggests that I'm a, you know, fiscally a very responsible person and really the only person who's going to be able to grow the state of Kansas in a way that allows us to invest in our priorities like our public schools, health care, our infrastructure uh, without having to raise taxes. Hey, well, Greg, thank you so much for spending a bit of time yeah. with us. I'll let you get to your, your, <laughs> thank your you. late lunch and best of luck to you in the uh, midterm election. Thanks, Stephen. Happy to be with you.